it about, should be ready around 16.30. Um, bound for Cadiz and uh, draft 8 decimal 7 figures to follow. Um, got any update on the venture with Sony? Yep, Virtuoso is signaling up and uh, about to depart very shortly. Yeah, sorry, and the, um, the next one after that is that Ventura? Uh, Ventura, yeah, she's down for 16.30 but not heard from it, anything. Okay. A new Frontier 1 VTSA. Good afternoon again. Good afternoon, pilots on board, outboard side 46 for East Cape. Uh, five decimal 9, please take your draft 9. Yeah, sorry man, can you give me the draft again please? Five decimal 9, deeper draft. And one nine plus one on board. A new Frontier 1 VTS that's all received, thank you. Um, the uh, MSC Virtuosa, she should be just letting go from uh, 102 now. Um, got a delay on the uh, Sky Princess, um, possibly 16.30 at the moment. Sky possibly 16.30 at the moment and Virtuosa breaking away, so copy, thank you. Brake target for new Frontier 1, Channel 10. Channel 10. Southern VTS, MSC Virtuosa, we're on the move for 102. Swing in the middle. Let me see the choice of ETS, all received, thank you. ETS, Jenny Blue. Yeah, Jenny Blue, ETS, thank you. Ahoy, shipmates! Right, let's turn that off and we go for this side. Busy day today, shipmates. We have four departures. We had four yesterday, four today, and five tomorrow. Yeah, a bit of a delay. We were supposed to have Sky Princess and MSC Virtuos departing at four, and then Ventura at 4.30, and then Iona at six. Currently, we have the Sky Princess just there, and the MSC Virtuosa is a bit further apart. Apparently, she's on the move. Yet to be confirmed. Looks like it's done the same spot to me. I only been at delays at loading luggage due to traffic in the port of Southampton. Yes, radio three, hide line request to continue. Uh, radio three, yes, uh, yes, please, sir. See the sun is out. What are the weather conditions today? The wind has picked up a, a tad, somewhere gusting under 15 knots. Visibility is only 16 nautical miles, really. If I look back at that, yeah, a little hazy. I would give it more than 16 nautical miles, but anyway, I shall trust the instrumentation. And the temperature is 21C with a 76% humidity. A UK D blue from VTS, good afternoon again. And I've just noticed that MSC Virtue well, so has in fact moved away. Uh, Please from VTS, that's all received, sir. Thank you. Um, remind me of the uh, PC again now. 
she'll be heading towards the middle swing ground here spinning around and coming out i suppose the question is will sky princess reverse round the dockhead before embassy uh, thank you and then ventures um, after that no uh, outward bound traffic at the moment for you sir Let's see, Ventura's at 4.30, but we haven't heard Ventura on the radio either, so there is a chance that may not happen either. So it's all a bit, we're all leaving at the same time, apart from minor at 6. Right, in case you wondering, I am the captain of the Solent Ships YouTube channel. I saw we had a subscriber just a minute ago, I'm afraid I didn't catch your name. Well, many thanks for subscribing. Oh, and another subscriber. Hoi there, Cruise Nautique and Travel. Welcome aboard, shipmates. I was up very early this morning out at Bramble Bank. I've just, just uploaded that film. If you are a member of the channel, or a Patreon or PayPal donor, you'll get early access to the film. I have a little film up of Bramble Bank cricket match. That happens right in the middle of the Solent. In fact, let me show you where that takes place. I'll talk over here. Boing. So we got up early this morning, came down Southampton Water, and then right here in the middle, this white, this shipping lane goes around this big bank, is Bramble Bank, and that is where we played some cricket this morning. Actually, I didn't play, I just, I just watched, and better than, better than anything else, I drank free rum. So here we go, this is Bramble Bank, it just pops out of the water eventually. Uh, it's big, some big puddles, it does make fielding quite tricky, but you can see what I mean, you can get a basic game of cricket in. Good turnout. Haven't had one for three years due to the pandemic and Queen Elizabeth. No, I think it was I think it was a state funeral or something caused that problem anyway, so it was all abandoned. That was pretty good. That was quite entertaining. Uh, I, I, did I mention the free rum? Yes, there was definitely free rum. So this is Sky Princess here. Uh, MSC Virtuosa is on the move. I've got the Itchin Cam audio on to see if the audio is any good. Ah, uh, oh, that's, uh, I said, uh, shipmate Sharon Coxon says there are nine of us on deck 18 of the Iona at the back will give us a wave. Oh, we'll keep an eye out that, definitely. Yeah, I'm hoping to hear some ship horns, mainly Sky Princess. Uh, see, she's due to part very shortly. I'm just going to have a quick look on the back of my own. I don't think I can see Deck 18 on the back. Of she's probably not there. She's probably going to be in the Sky Bar. I think that's Deck 18. I wonder if we'll have any random flags today. We've had a good amount of random flags lately. Uh, Welsh ones and uh, Cornish ones most recently. Quick scan. A bit of good waving lately. Pretty good in the waving and flag front. I'm just going to look down Iona. See what's going on on Iona. Let's okay, should we have a look? Let's have a look, shall we? Ah, oh, it's looking lovely out there. As it was rather warm this morning in the sun, I didn't feel cold at all. Yes, yes, I should say. What have you people out on the bow? Oh, it's a thing, yes. Afternoon again. Yeah, good afternoon. Just coming away from Tanky. Round to Shamrock. We've just five crew on board. Uh, ocean thing, yes. That's all received, Mark. Thank you. I've uh, got the tinny blue in there with the uh, red osprey. Yep, that's all copy. Thanks very much. That looks like our first flag of the day. If I'm not mistaken, that's probably the Scottish sort of air, I think. I think. I think it's blue and white. It could be some peculiar flag from some... Yes, it's blue and white, isn't it? It's just the colours. Yes, yeah, blue and white. I'm going to call that the Scottish flag. Excellent. One flag down. Passed my geography test on that one. What else have we got? I've heard that there is... Oh, hello. Is there another flag there? Looks like another flag. Yes, I've heard there's a... Sharon said there's a group of, big group of them on the stern of Iona and they should be waving. That is a... Hmm. No, I'm not sure it's a flag, it's more like a bathrobe. I couldn't tell until I zoomed in. So my screen's not very... Oh, my screen is, uh, comes up quite small. It's quite difficult to see sometimes. 
does make it more challenging, but you know, you know we do like a challenge. Uh, oh, hello, camera. Camera's gone really fast. Or was it? Why are you going fast? Or? There we go. Oh, no, I'm still going fast. It's going all the way. It's mine of its own cruise cam lately. That's better. It's more sedate. I see quite a few shipmates out there enjoying the sun. It has been a lovely day. The next four or five days are going to be spectacular. I'm hoping to get some more time on the water. Have a quick look at MSC Virtuos. She's reversing to the middle swing round here. Where it says middle swing round. And she'll do a little spinny woo there and then head on out. I haven't heard from Sky Princess. I think she was going to let MSC Virtuos go because Ventura hasn't radio ended in either. So it was supposed to be Sky Princess and then MSC Virtuos and then Ventura. Well, it looks like. Are you now? Are you now? Near front, you Looks like it's going to be Sky uh, MSC Virtuoso, then Sky Princess, probably Ventura a bit later, and then followed by Iona. There's Sky Princess there. It's in the sun. So I continue to have a look, shall we? Down Iona. It's down here. Don't forget, Iona is not departing for an hour and a half, so I think people are. Be still loading, unpacking their bags, getting their drinks, package sorted, basing on which restaurant to go to, or already have tucked tucked in at the buffet. Features Red Falcon Hotel. Red Falcon Thank you, sir. Yep. Okay, all right. Plenty of shipmates in the chat. noise of Sky Princess. Normally they blast that quite often and local residents in Port Southam do complain about it and having a lovely Saturday afternoon nap and they keep blasting the theme from the love boat. Maybe it'll be just the once today but I was glad we heard that. Uh, I'm surprised actually because it's a little bit windy but we're not getting too much wind noise from Netlicam, itching cam rather. I'll turn it off in a bit once we've uh, once it, uh, yeah once uh, yeah, Fred Jet 7 approaching pipeline in please continue at speed please caution to the virtual uh, 7 meters, yes please ma'am, thank you CTS, uh, New Frontier 1 could I have the update on A new Frontier 1, VTS, say again, ma'am. Can I have update on the cruise ships, please? A new Frontier 1, VTS, at the uh, MSC Virtuosa swinging in the upper swinging ground. Um, and the Sky Princess, um, well, she was going to be away at um, 16.30, but uh, MSC Virtuosa, as I say, middle swing ground, three quarters of the way through the swing. Yes, so, copy. So, new, no news from Sky Princess at the moment, is that correct? Uh, that's all received, thank you. Uh, no news uh, at the moment. Um, let's say, uh, he did say he was going to be good for 16.30, but obviously where the Virtuoso is, um, not sure what's going to go on. That's all copy, thank you. All well planned, but it's all going to pot. Uh, cause of that is traffic, apparently shipmates. Lots of traffic in the port of Southampton causing people to be delayed on arrival. Luggage, luggage taking a while to get loaded and so forth. 
Plenty of shipmates in the chat, I see. Have a quick look who's in the chat. Oh, you have, uh, of course, we have extant spanners. Uh, Waverly VTS, there. Uh, good afternoon again. I've got Tim Ellis, Bay Blue, Kevin Two. Uh, Waverly VTS, uh, yep, that's all understood, sir. Thank you. Um, one decimal nine, can I have your crew and um, passenger figures again? Boy there to Paula Jones, Melissa Phillips, Steve Reaper, 44. Uh, yep, that's all received, thank you. Boy there, Chris Shipping. I think you were uh, up this early this morning, weren't you, Shipmate, watching me live stream the cricket. And boy there, Tracy Reese. And boy there, Ian the Cruise Guy. And boy there, Deborah Speller. And boy there, Ellie Murley. Ahoy there, TC. I mean, Tizzy C. I think I've covered the bases there. So, uh, it looks like we're going to be seeing Sky Princess first. She's up here in the middle swing ground. Slight delay, she'll be on camera. Ooh, five, six, seven minutes, something like that. Uh, Red Eagle VTS, uh, that's all received, thank you. Um, the MSC Virtuosa almost completed his swing off the uh, middle swing ground outward bound, uh, be followed by the uh, uh, Sky Princess um, and the new Frontier One. The Sky Princess down there, we can see Sky Princess from Ichika. Chris Shipping says he was, so yes, yeah, some of you might be wondering, I was talking about the Brabble cricket match. I was, here we go, here's what it looked like this morning. Still under video, MSC Virtuosa. Swing complete, proceeding out, you can call that beer head boy. Playing cricket right out here in the middle of the Solent on Bramble Bank. Six o'clock in the morning, 6.30. And of course, best thing about this was there was free rum. Absolutely brilliant. Still under video, MSC Virtuosa. Embassy Virtuoso VTS. Yeah, good evening. Um, a swing complete, proceeding out. Be ahead, boy. Uh, Virtuoso VTS, that's all received. Thank you. You said they me on the new Frontier One. Uh, negative, no, sir. There's the new Frontier One. She comes from Holland. There you go, she, she, there she comes from. Somewhere in Holland, swinging in, hanging in, hanging in, and she's the bunkering vessel for Iona, filling her up on LNG. Where's LPG? I'm not quite sure actually. I'll confuse myself now. And Iona and Avia both use the same fuel systems. And they can they don't have to fill them up every time. They can run. Yes, new Frontier One. That's new Frontier One. They can run for a few few cruises without. Uh, new refilling. Frontier One, VTS. My request, no wash from red jets. Uh, no wash from red jets, all received. Well, so that's a request for... Yes, Ventura. The red jets, the red jets will typically go quite fast in here. Ventura, VTS. Yeah, afternoon, port side 106, flight delay, two way, 1645. Oh, that's Ventura. Aventura, uh, um, 15 minute delay, 16.45, all received. So, um, we will go after Sky Princess, and uh, when is the new Frontier away? Uh, yep, she's uh, going to stations, and uh, she's going to follow the Virtuoso out. Following the Virtuoso. Uh, VTS, New Frontier 1. New Frontier 1, VTS. Uh, sorry, I thought the Sky is following Virtuosa. New Frontier 1, VTS, uh, that is correct. Copy, so it's Virtuosa, Sky, uh, and then maybe we'll go after Sky, depending on Ventura, where Ventura is. Uh, yep, that's all received, man. Thank you. And uh, yeah, there's a 15 minute delay on the venture at the moment. Uh, Ventura, 15 minutes. 
Well, it's all quite busy, isn't it? Trying to coordinate manoeuvres. Win. Jenny Blue, sway to the sound keep high. Uh, Jenny Blue, we test also, thank you. The uh, MSC Virtuosa passing to head Tanky there, outward bound. Yes, yeah, thank you. We should be able to see on the very right. Oh, there's the Jenny Blue there, I believe. And that's Ocean Scene. So, yeah, it's very busy, uh, all messed up due to this traffic problem. Yes, yes, please, Well, that's the evening, and a good afternoon to you, Andy. Check the relay. Uh, Chief and VTS, at all received, sir. Thank you, and a good evening to you, Fred. Yeah, it's all quite busy today. It's all delays. Yeah, so I'm going to say, they, uh, Iona and Avia don't fill up every time they come to port. I think it's every other time. There are big signs saying that you're not allowed. I think you're not allowed to smoke on your on the starboard side of Iron and Ravia when it's being refueled. I'm not even sure you're allowed to go out on your balcony. I think I can't remember now. There is MSC Virtuosa coming down the water. Shipmit and Bowles is on Virtuosa Deck 15. Virtuosa is departing with 5,155 passengers on board and 1,716 crew. Which uh, is quite impressive. So double occupancy of MC Virtuosa is 4,800. Uh, maximum capacity is 6,300, so she's got 5,100, so that's, that's a very full ship. And crew is even slightly over on the crew numbers as well. But a very full cruise ship, almost at maximum capacity. So it's very popular this time of year. Especially now that the schools have gone back, and it's going to be a really nice weather week. Sky Princess. Uh, what champion we test has all received, sir? Thank you. On the left there. And a good afternoon to you. And the MSC Virtuosa just coming down. We'll see you on cruise cam very shortly. That's all received, no problem. Thank you. Shipmate Paul Carter says that uh, had some family on Ventura, Helen and Gary, and they will be waving as much as possible when it's time. Excellent. We will keep a look out for them. Well, I suggest they go up somewhere near the top, near the name, where it says Ventura, if possible. Unless they've got a cabin and they're waving a flag of some unknown English county. A new Frontier 1, VTS. Proceeding. Yeah, new Frontier 1, VTS. Um, the plan is uh, MSC Virtuosa to pass. Uh, the Sky Princess will uh, swing off, um, back down off her dockhead. Uh, as you're backing out and swinging, and then you'll proceed and follow the Sky Princess. And the Ventura, Ventura will follow you. Yeah, so copy, thank you very much. So, um, Virtuosa, Sky Princess will be backing down and swinging south of Doghead. I'll follow Sky and behind us, Ventura. Thank you. Yeah, it's like a Piccadilly Circus rush hour here. And tomorrow we've got five cruise ships, shipmates, so you better make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell so that, Sorry, can't reach us. So that we'll be live tomorrow, you won't miss a thing. Five cruise ships. A certain can reach us, that's all received, thank you. Well, shipmate Matthew Gregory is asking, does the New Frontier have a pilot? I don't know. I would think they do have a pilot. like we've got MSC Virtuosa just about to appear on cruise cam. Here we go. Travelling through those calm, slightly emerald green waters. Wayward Lass, VTS, sir. Good afternoon. Wayward Lass. Oh, 
Oh, hello, what's that? Uh, Wayward Lassley, Jess, all understood, thank you. Oh, <laughs> I, I think I, I can see something. Hang on, this is going to take a little bit of concentration. Let's see if we get this right. Oh, look at that. I think that says, definitely says ahoy. I think it says ahoy, shipmates. Woohoo! <laughs> I, I think that's a first on the channel. Or a second. Oh, that's an impressively large banner. Where the did you get that from? And um, we got some classic. We've got three balconies in a row waving. Oh, top job. Oh, I can identify that flag. That's an easy one. <laughs> Fantastic. There we go. Maybe that's a bit clearer. Yeah, look at that. Oh, what a wonderful job, shipmates. That is a most excellent job. Got to give that's probably the best flag I've seen. I think we had MSC Virtuosa honking to. Sky Princess. PTS, Sky Princess, and good everybody on 389. Sky Princess, we just thank you, sir. Did you copy the plan there, sir? Sorry, yeah, the uh, new Frontier 1, she's going to back out when you're let go, and uh, she'll follow you down. Oh, yeah, I understand. Yeah. Lots of waving going on on the top there of MSC Virtuoso, although. They'll be waving to passengers on the Sky Princess. I don't think they're all waving to the camera, unfortunately. Much as I'd like to think the popularity of the channel is far and wide. There'll be some... Oh, wait. God, what a sunny day! What a fantastic departure. Yeah, loads of football on the big screen. I wonder if it's Southampton Football Club. Not doing very well this year, Southampton. They ended up in a, a division that they shouldn't be in, really. Not used to these dark days. I say dark days, sorry, these sunny days. We end up with shadows. There's a MSC Virtuosa. Starts her departure on a oh, no, hang on, on a seven-night Norwegian cruise via Hogsund, Olden, Flam, and Christiansand. Well, I don't know what the weather is going to be like up in the fields, but it's certainly lovely here in the port next week. And we even had an hoist, a hoist shipmate flag. How brilliant was that? Had your pleasure craft out today. Had your pleasure craft out this morning when we were playing cricket. Hoi there, shipmate Colin Butts. Welcome aboard. Many thanks for subscribing. Fifteen. What? Oh, sorry, fifteen. Fifty. My numbers out probably. 5,100. 5,155 passengers on board the MSC Virtuosa. 1,716 crews. Like I say, barely well packed. Lots of shipmates up on deck enjoying the views. She comes down at Southampton Water now. It's what a wonderful day. We've got temperatures still around 21 C. I think, I think it's got warmer. Amazing. Southampton 
Tennessee Vetro, so Western Shelf, Tennessee Vetro, so Western Shelf, Western Shelf, thank you. Quite a few pleasure craft out today. So the next ship to depart. Thank you, and that's the Sky Princess underway as well. Thank you. CTS, Red Jet 7, thank you, Captain. Or Frontier 1, try to have. Red Jet 7, uh, that's all received, man, thank you. Um, got the Sky Princess underway now, backing down, swinging off the dock head from 38.9. New Frontier 1, she's underway, backing out of um, 46 berth alongside the Iona. Wide berth reduction, passing the Sea Green on 40 berth. Um, further traffic, the MSC Virtuosa, Western Shelf, outward bound. Over. That's all copy, thank you. Cool, New Frontier trying to communicate with VTS and getting blasted because the New Frontier was uh, straight in the firing range. Oh, I'll show you on the map, shall I? Uh, map, map, I don't know where map, map. So this is New Frontier, the uh, bunkering vessel for Iona and his Sky Princess. So her horn's just shooting straight at poor old New Frontier, that's why we could hear it on the radio, <laughs> quite amusing. Uh, uh, Sky Princess is on the move, yes I can see her moving, so she'll come around this corner. And we did hear the horn quite well then, didn't we? I'm going to turn down the itching cam now, I think we've had a... There we go, turn that down a bit. I'll keep it on the background in case I... I, I Iona has very, very um, quiet horns, I don't really hear much from Iona, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but Sky Princess has the, like I said, the noisiest horns. It often complaints from people in the Port of Southampton when the uh, Sky ships depart. I don't know if you also heard there were three honks as well, and that was to indicate that the vessel is going astern. Hoi there, shipmate Leslie Clark. This is all very exciting. Well done for the honking horns. Yeah, it was good to get the horns in. Red Jet 6, Red Jet, thank you. The MSC Virtuoso, Northwest Natalie, outward bound. Sky Princess, backing down, swinging off a dock head, also out. New Frontier 1, um, backing out of the ocean dock. Um, got a swing, and uh, she'll be outward bound as well. Yeah, we've got perfect. Uh, the wind's not too windy. It's a thing to say, I know, but it's not too windy, but essentially it's coming from south southeast so it's not blowing the sound of the horn away too much so we're getting like, some good audio on the horn i don't know if we'll hear any more horns because we've, we've heard sky princess uh because the ion is quite quiet and ventura is the other end of port although ventura comes past iona uh, they uh, they may well honk sometimes they honk to each other UKD Bluefin, we just think of that. It looks like Sky Princess is getting quite close to the dock head now. Some colourful language going on there. Hopefully, you didn't offend anyone. Here we go, Sky Princess reversing around the corner here. As you see, uh, it's quite a good for uh, having this camera here because we used to miss them on the other cameras, although we don't have the other cameras, we miss a lot of things. But if we look at the map, you can see what's happening. The Sky Princess comes around this here, reverses round, heads, reverses straight towards it. Yes, um, SP. And it heads on out. SPVTS, afternoon, Nick. Very good afternoon, Andy. Um, is there an updated time for the Ventura away? Um, 1645 at the moment, I do believe. Uh, sorry. Yeah, she's 15 minutes late. So 
Understood, thank you. Yeah, all delayed today due to traffic. Essex Star, VTS, uh, good afternoon. Essex Star, VTS, all received, and uh, give us a call again just before you want to drop your anchor in St Helens, please, so we can check your position. Were there shipmate Johnny B? Oh, did you hear those colourful metaphors, did you? <laughs> Must apologise about that. It's in a public location. Hopefully, hopefully nothing too alarming. Oh, shipmate uh, Fiona Terry Chandler says when they were in Funchal in Madeira on New Year's Eve, all the cruise ships honked at midnight. Very memorable. Oh, yes, I've heard that before. I've heard that they do that. Uh, we did have all the cruise ships honk when the king was crowned last year. Was that last year or this year? Yes, BTS, Ocean Sea. Ocean Sea, BTS, I'll see you again, Mark. Yeah, hello, Andy. Uh, we just come up to Shamrock Key. And we'll be out again about 1850. Uh, 1850, all received, no problem, thank you. Uh, Jenny Blue, VTS, yes, thank you. Uh, New Frontier 1, she's um, just backing out of the ocean dock there as well. So, yeah, shipmate Elizabeth Leibourne says uh, it used to be lovely when all the ships honked their horns on New Year's Eve. You should hear it from the front door, and that's Port Southampton. Well, yeah, I have not heard it uh, in Southampton. Uh, maybe they still do it. You see Sky Princess is on the reverse here. And then, I don't know if you heard Sam there, he was saying that New Frontier is also on the move. That's the bunkering vessel for Iona. Embassy Virtuosa is on her way down Southampton Water. There we go. Full of passengers. Five, 5,100 odd passengers on board and an absolutely full complement of crew. Haven't had numbers yet for Sky Princess. Sky Princess is off on a 14 night Mediterranean adventure via Cadiz, Barcelona, Marseille, Livorona, Cavici, Ajaco, and Gibraltar for all those duty frees. As you can see, she's just starting that spin now. Where it's quite, I quite like this view here. We'll get a good view down the, the ship. Because the sun's the other side, it does uh, limit somewhat our view. Yeah. See quite a few shipmates. I wonder if we'll see any flags. Sky Princess name is at the top. Quite a few people on the stern. Looks like a looks like a bar area there. I think that's probably where I would be. And we see Virtuos are heading past Forley. Some flaring again this morning. Quite eerie coming up Southampton Water. Then Ventura is due out next, followed by Iona. And there we go. I quite liked these views where you can see down at the entire side of the ship. I always think it's impressive how quickly they move. They really do move, spin round quite fast considering that you've got a lot of ship there. We didn't get any numbers. Hi there, shipmate Jill Swan. Many thanks for subscribing. Welcome aboard. 145,000 gross tonnes of Sky Princess. Made voyage in October 2019, so not that old. Launched just before the pandemic, so not much wear and tear on that one. And ahoy there, shipmates Jamie Wilkinson. Welcome aboard, shipmates. Many thanks for subscribing. Just getting that spin on there. Look at that. Straight down the sides. 
yes. Ventura. Oh, Ventura's on the radio. Uh, Ventura, Vincius, good afternoon again, sir. Yeah, afternoon. Okay, that's us. Uh, starting to let go now. And we'll keep an eye on this in front here. Uh, Ventura, Vincius, all received. Thank you. So Ventura on the way next. New Frontier is also just look, looking, have a look. She's carefully coming out of New Frontier is carefully coming out from behind Iona. Uh, this one here. Yep, there we go. There's New Frontier coming out from behind Iona. Uh, Ventura VTSA, yeah, sorry sir. Can you remind me of your draft again? Oh, we there, shipmate. Learn Wolfie One. Many thanks for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Adventure of ETS. Making the most of the Azipod thrusters and thrust well, Azipods and thrusters, I should say, on the Sky Princess there. 330 meters long, speed of top speed of 23 knots, 43 kilometers an hour for you continental types, and 26 miles per hour in the King's unit. Capacity of 3,660 passengers and 1,346 crew. So not as yes, Red Falcon. not as big as MSC Virtuosa. Uh, Red Falcon meters, thank you. The MSC Virtuosa running down to the Catalan outward bound. Uh, the Sky Princess just about completed a swing off of it. Dockhead outwards, the uh, New Frontier 1 backing out of uh, the uh, Ocean Dock, swinging and proceeding out. And we have the Ventura about to go to stations and let go from 106 outwards. Oh, copy, sir. Well, there is the new frontier backing out and the Ventura. So it's all we just, thank you, sir. Got the uh, UKD Bluefin coming over to new ground, sit back in. And the Essex Star, east of the deep water route there, she's in for St. Helens Anchorage. Oh, hoi there, shipmate Simon Masters. Many thanks for your kind donation. I think that was a super chat. I missed it, it whizzed off the screen before, before I saw it. So that is the bunkering vessel for Iona. Yep, many thanks for your super chat, shipmate. Much appreciated. He is going to nip out after Sky Princess and before Ventura. Iona not due to depart until 6 o'clock. We haven't heard anything from Iona yet. So. so something VTS, so something VTS, Iona, channel 1 2. And as if by magic. Iona, VTS, good evening. Yeah, good evening, sir. Just to advise that we're working for an 1800 departure this evening. I own VTS, that's all copied, and confirm 1800 departure. Your pilot will board from shoreside approximately 30 minutes before your departure time over. That's all understood. Shoreside, 30 minutes. Thank you. VTS, Sky Princess, Western Shelf. Sky Princess, VTS. Good afternoon to you. That's all copied. Thank you. There's this guy, Princess, on the western shelf, boy. Uh, she's essentially in the open water there. She can now pick up some speed. And as I said, we're not sure. We hadn't heard from my owner. And as if by magic, I'd like to think the bridge watching uh, Sun Ship's YouTube channel. And they thought, well, perhaps we should just tell tell the captain. Uh, that's me. I am the captain of the Sun Ship's YouTube channel. Yes, Red Osprey, short of the Battle of for East Coast, please. Perhaps they should tell the captain that we are going to depart on time. Yes, that's all received, sir. Thank you. Um, got the Sky Princess Western Shelf outward bound. Um, the New Frontier 1, she's just backing out of the Ocean Dock now, swinging off the Ocean Dock and proceeding out. Further traffic for you, the MSC Virtuosa currently at Cadland outward bound. Oh, we'll copy that, thank you. Now, I'll quick have a look. Did I... Is there, going to, there were some people somewhere, weren't there, that were going to be waving. Oh, there's shipmate Adrian Govier. Welcome aboard, shipmates. As you know, have you on board. Yeah, let's have a look. Someone said they were going to be somewhere waving. Mm. Oh, here we go. Uh, back of oh, Iona and on the Virtuoso Deck 15, nearly reached. 
uh, virtuoso. So I don't know. If, oh, I must. Uh, perhaps so with the chaps with the oil flag. Red Osprey VHS. VHS, Red Osprey, can I get a top, dockhead, tie gauge from you, please? Red Osprey VHS on the gauge at dockhead is 3.94. Oh, copy that, thank you. Hoi there, shipmate Cheryl Bowers, may thanks for subscribing. It's a pleasure to have you on board. If you are enjoying this content and you'd like to help support the channel, do subscribe. And every time we go live, you'll find out, like uh, at 6 o'clock this morning, or 6.15, slightly slightly late because we couldn't find anywhere to park i was out on bramble bank with uh, captain marty filming the cricket match this morning i'm um, just i've uploaded the film for that and that'll be available shortly currently we are looking at sky princess who is on her way to, for uh, on the way to norway for a field cruise calling it hogson olsen Hey, sorry, no, hang on a sec, sorry, wrong one, wrong ship. Sky Princess off on a 14-night Mediterranean adventure. Hopefully the weather will be good. Going to, calling in at Cadiz, Barcelona, Marseille, Livorno, Sevilla, Hello, and Gibraltar. New Frontier is just backing around the corner yeah, here. Jenny Blue, space and sound, keep alive. Jenny Blue, VTS, that's all copied, thank you. Got the New Frontier one just swinging off the ocean dock and then proceeding outward bound. There we go, thanks very much. He's had a little tug being pulled there sure what, quite what's going on there so yeah so it's all a go today and then tomorrow we have five cruise ships departing and including the disney dream with the shipmate daniel san and ahoy there shipmate john westwood may thanks subscribing shipmate uh what's daniel san saying daniel san's normally very good with information, so it's sending me useful links to news articles. Our oh, shipmate Marley's asking, is Captain Wesley on board Iona? I think so. With their shipmate Robert Dotterwich. Many thanks for subscribing. Oh, our shipmate Simon Masters, he just made a donation. He says, please say hi to shipmate Nicky. Hoi there, shipmate Nicky. I assume that means something to someone. I think that possibly was the Horn or Ventura. She's just, I know she's just moved away from the dock side. If so, that's quite impressive because uh, she's the other way, a long way away from the camera. So that was quite impressive. That's very, that's very good if it picked that up. Uh, where are we going to now? Uh, let's have a quick look. We should have Sky Princess. Yep, she's heading down to Southampton Water, avoiding all of the pleasure crafts that are out there. Jet 6 VTS, that's all copy, just please, sir, with caution, the New Frontier 1. She's just uh, departed the Ocean Dock out with bounds. Many thanks, and all noted on the New Frontier. Then we've got MSC Virtuosa heading past Forley Refinery. P&O Iona at Ocean Terminal due to depart to Pat 6. Yes, Sea Green, Sea Green 40 birth, back to Marshall. Sea Green VTS, that's all received, sir. Thank you. The Red Osprey's just departed from Royal Pier. Outward bound, you've got the Red Jet 6 at Northwest Netley, inward bound. All received, thank you. And the Ventura quite clearly on her way. She'll be with us shortly. Full supply. Full supply, VTS. Yeah, we're just going to take the Will Carry 300 back to the Empress. Full supply, VTS, that's all copied. Thank you. Thank you. Could have a look at the bunkering vessel New Frontier. A couple of wide tugs there. 
may tend to lurk more up the river itching. Smaller, smaller tug operator, but still, still sizable vessels capable of manhandling larger ships about. For this new frontier, the I think it's LNG from Chechnary. Yes, it is LNG. I just thought it was LNG, not LPG. Liquefied natural gas. Uh, and the bunkering has to... She comes from Holland, the new frontier. And for some reason, that's the closest place that can supply LNG, which seems a bit odd to me. You would have thought somewhere closer would have been able to do that sort of thing, but... No, apparently f f refineries, like Foley Refinery, doesn't do it. to get a tax break from buying it from Holland. Is station calling VTS over? Jet ski there, having a jolly good time bouncing about in that wake. With your uh, VTS, that's all copied to Many thanks for the information. New Frontier just heading down. MSC Virtuosa uh, right down, probably getting near close. Good 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 all finished now with the New Frontier, heading back to America Wharf. White Force VTS, uh, that's all copied, thank you. VTS, righto, like base. White toe, likewise, always see many thanks. The white tugs are all Y something, Y force, Y toe, Y, um, I can't remember now. What are the Y ones? They're all Y something, Y storm. Remember, that's another one. Way would last, VTS. Wayward last VTS, that's all copied, thank you. Shipmate Daniel Sands says there's some um, boy racers out there. And he's talking about boy as in the nautical boy, or as our Americans would say, um, I can't remember how they pronounce it now. Booey, there we go. <laughs> Booey racers. Oops. Uh, colourful language time again. Sorry about that. Oh, hi there, shipmate Matt Hughes. Welcome aboard, shipmate. Many thanks for becoming a member. Uh, if you join the channel as a member, you get certain privileges and benefits. You get access to the VTS radio at all time, access to our Discord server, where you can chat amongst the friendly crew and other channel members. And you'll get access, early access to videos and things like that, pictures. And if you're lucky, I'll, I do some, I make some dedicated content. But um, I'm not always very good at that. I have to say. Uh, I'm just, I should probably have a look and see where that. Uh, oh, it's a bit foggy down there, isn't it? Oh, I wonder if that's why the visibility was not great. Oh, look, visibility 47, 47 nautical miles. I wonder if that's. Now, what's over here? N nothing over here. Let's have a quick look at this map then, see where Ventura is then. I think she's probably some distance away still. Yeah, she's still some distance away. Okay, right, no problem. Oh, Kevin too, sir. Helpfully supplied me with the Y information. That's the little tug we saw earlier helping New Frontier. Uh, there are multiple Ys. Let's see, have a look. What did he say? Oh, my word. There is Y. Y. Oh, dear. Wide Awake. Y Force. Why not? Why more? Why pull? Why push? Why storm? Why tow? 
wide awake. Mm. Oh well. Here we go. <laughs> little look down south out towards us. We've got the Sky Princess on our right. The MSC Virtuos in the distance. Very, very, very in the distance. Very small in the distance is the ferry to Fishbourne from Portsmouth. Britain, VTS, good afternoon. And then one of the red funnels, ferries coming in. Shipmate Jan Clapman says 22nd of September for us, celebrate celebrity silhouette. Can't wait. Uh, where are you off, Jan? On the uh, Britain, VTS, that's all copied and just confirmed passenger and crew figures over. Where are you off? on your celebrity silhouette cruise mediterranean perhaps the time vts that's all copy thank you i've got no immediate outbound traffic for you the silver soul she's just through the forts outward bound and the essex star to the uh, currently at nab end essex star is inward bound and she's bound for st helen's anchorage over The Essex Star. Britain VTS, no immediate outbound traffic for you. The Silver Soul just through St. Helens out. And the Essex Star currently at Nab End. She is inward bound for St. Helens Road Anchorage. Oh, there's shipmate Jane Morris. Many thanks for your kind donation i think there was a super chat or something like that very good much appreciated vts vts that's all received sir thank you shipmate new frontier one vts that's all received mom thank you Shipmate uh, Helen Wernham says, uh, hello, we are on Iona, currently in the retreat with an excellent view of Ventura. Yes, Ventura. Oh, OK, you've got a view of Ventura. Yeah, I can see how that works. Uh, if, I, if I go to the map, I'll explain. So the retreat is, is on Iona. I can't think where's, uh, where is the retreat. I think the retreat's in the sort of midships. So you'd be overlooking, you're looking over Ocean Terminal, over Town Key Marina, over the Mayflower Park, yep, straight to Venturi. Yeah, you'll have a really good view from there, it's quite high up, so excellent view from there for sure. Shipmate Mrs. Aeos, the sky looks a bit dramatic. Yeah, it, it does have that feel to it. I think it's the good. I don't think we're going to get any decent sunsets this evening on uh, this live stream because it's uh. It's just not going to happen in time. The sun it was due to set about eight o'clock. I think that might be one of the. No, oh, that looks like a work vessel, one of the platform vessels there. Quite a few shipmates wandering around Iona. Quick scan down the decks. We've already spotted a Scottish flag so far on Iona, and we had a fantastic flag on MSC Virtuosa. Let's set a hoy shipmates. Absolutely brilliant. There's the Scottish flag. Yes, Ventura. Uh, Ventura, VTS, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Are you ready for figures? Oh, yes, I'm ready. Ventura, VTS, uh, yeah, affirmative. Okay, so PAX 3134, crew 116. Ventura, VTS, that's all copied. Thank you, uh, passengers 3134, crew 1164. All received, many thanks. And that's pure head out. 
um, pay head out or copy. Thank you. So, yeah, fairly good numbers there on Ventura. Let me just check those numbers. Luckily, Kevin Toon's helpfully written them down for me. 3,134 passengers. She has a maximum capacity of 3,192. So, yeah, it's pretty good. And 1163 crew. I'm not sure about crew figures. So, that's, uh, yep, she's full as well. All the cruise ships are appear to be full. Ventura will be on our screens, I would think, in a couple of minutes. I'm going to, I'm trying to work out what to do now. What should I do? I'm going to move. That is the new frontier heading down Southampton Water. Then I am going to go and have a quick look down Iona, probably just about in time to see Ventura pass by. I might put the microphones back on because might get some honking. Hopefully we don't get any more. Colourful language seems to be an e epidemic of it this afternoon. And they can't scale the CTS, good afternoon to you, that's all copy, thank you. Yeah, Jenny Blue VTS, all received, thank you, Venture is here, head out and bounce. Hello, is that another flag? Looks like a flag. Let's have a look. What is this flag here? Ah, I'm going to go with towel. That's a red herring, that is. Towel is not a flag. What's going on? I'm not identifying where that came from. Probably Marks and Spencer's or JC Penny or somewhere. Why do two shipmates out on their balconies? I think they've all come out to watch Ventura sail down. They all have a fantastic view of Ventura coming towards them. I'm anticipating a bit of honking and hooting as they're both PO ships. And that's why I've put the itching cam microphone back up again. Let's see a few shipmates with binoculars there, having a good old look. No more flags, just the Scottish Saltaire. And what's down this way? No, quite a lot of people up on deck though. I think I would be on the sky bar towards the back and top. Silver Soul VTS. Have an excellent view. And you'll be in the sun. And what is actually quite a decent day, we're still at 21C. Silver Soul VTS, that's all copy, thank you. I've got no reported inbound traffic for the master. The wind is sort of not too bad. Pretty good. Let's have a look, I see where... Uh, yeah, we just have MSE Virtuoso just going around Cowshot Spit. to imagine that we'll be seeing Ventura any second now. Actually, no, give it a good minute or two. The camera over there, I'm ready for that one. There we go, two ships heading down south up to water. Sky Princess on the right, MSC Virtuosa. It, MSC Virtuosa is off on a seven night cruise to Norway via Hogsand, Alden, Flam and Christiansand. Sky Princess, a 14 night Mediterranean adventure. Where's the play? Where's the play? Aena, Aena, one two. To Cadiz, Barcelona, Marseille, Livorno. Yes, we'll supply, go ahead. Cavici, and Gibraltar. Good afternoon, sir. I see you've got one of our uh, barges from alongside. Are you going to be coming back for this other barge? Yeah, we're just putting this one alongside and we'll be straight back round. Give us a uh, half hour, it'll be out the way. Okay, sir, so that's all received. Uh, I don't want to put any pressure on you, but we're hoping for a, uh, a prompt departure, uh, if we could get the barge away fairly prompt. Yeah, I'll come round there as quick as I can. We've just, got, we've just come alongside with this one now. We'll be straight back round. Thank you, sir. That's much appreciated. Standing by, one, two, one, six. 
Thank you. See, that's the wheel supplies just moving a barge around while they call that work vessel here. What's that? Hoi there, Sylvia Hearn. Many thanks for your kind donation, shipmate. Much appreciated. Just wait for a ship here. Go back here. The Sky Princess heading down to Hunter Water. Richard 6, shortly away from town to the Red 6, VTS, that's all copy, thank you. The Venture is just past Notion Dock, outward bound. New Frontier 1 is passing Lanes Lake, she's outward bound to the west. And the uh, Sky Princess, she's just passing Esso, outward bound, clear channel. Further traffic, MSC Virtuosa, also clear channel at the Bourne Gap out. Sea tech diving, VTS. Our diver is now out of water. We've completed diving operations today. That's the first forty-eight. Sea tech diving, VTS. That's all copy. Thank you. Very good afternoon to you. Security, security, security. All stations, all stations, all stations. This is Southampton VTS. Divers are out and clear of the water berth 48. So again, divers are out and clear of the water at berth 48. This is Southampton VTS, out. VTS, Red Eagle, passing Western Sheffield bound. Uh, we're slowing down way for the uh, venture to close the door Red Eagle, VTS, or copy, thank you. I was hoping to get some horns, but uh, no. Oh, someone's waving a scarf. Missed them. Come on, camera. Venture is going quite fast. UKD Bluefin VTS. Oh, I've missed the person waving that. I'm sure there was someone waving a scarf or something. Uh, a lot of people waving to fellow passengers on Iona. Bluefin VTS, that's all copy, sir. Thank you. The Virtuosa's just at Bourne Gap out. Sky Princess passing SO. And uh, the Ventura just approaching Dockhead outward bound. Um, the Iona should be getting underway approximately 1800. The Ventura, I've always thought, has a very raked rear. It's unusual. Sticks sort of back further than the actual water line. Well, the sort of natural amphitheatre at the sort of top there. I think that's where I'd be sitting myself for the sail away in the uh, sunny port of Southampton. Get yourself rum-based cocktail, put your feet up, enjoy the view. Jason, VTS, good afternoon, that's all copy, thank you, MSC Virtuosa, just approaching the West Bramble, outbound to the East Clear Channel, Sky Princess also Clear Channel, approaching the Hawk Out, um, New Frontier 1, just at Cadlin, she's outbound to the West, and the Aventura, just at Dockhead, outbound. Ventura off on a seven night Spanish French Portuguese cruise to Vigo, Lisbon, Porto, Schulberg with sporting icons Sue Barker, Matt Dawson, and Phil Tufnell. Oh, I didn't see Phil Sky Tufnell. Princess, yes, that's all copy, thank you, and confirm passengers 3553, crew 1340. That's all received, thank you. The Solent Cat is currently on the cow shot turn inward bound. Uh, UKD Bluefin is through the fort, she'll be going north of the ride now, and 
waiting for you to uh, clear the precautionary over. Well, I didn't see Phil Tufnell out on Bramble Bank this morning. SMVTS uh, on the gauge at Cal Shot is 2.9 over. Uh, Bramble Bank, Cal Shot. That's all, copy, thank you. You see the stern of Ventura, the way it uh, leans backwards onto bed funnels. Sky Princess down, uh, heading down towards Cow Shot. Waverley, VHS. Waverley, VHS. All received, sir. Thank you. Um, the new Frontier One, she's just passing SO now. She's outward bound to the west uh, to Salt Mead Anchorage. Plenty of pleasure craft about today. That's a good looking power boat there coming in. The sun is out. What a wonderful day to departing. Southampton. Uh, 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 uh. Well, shipmate, shipmate Robert Goodridge said uh, Ventura was first cruise last year. Good to hear, shipmate. Thank you. I did ask someone where their cruise was going, where their cruise was going in September, but I can't see who it was now. Oh, one of the tripod things. Someone's asking. Shipmate uh, Silverback Warmate asking what these tripod things with triangle and a circle on top. Uh, triangle thing. Oh, um, I think you're talking about the navigational markers. There's one here at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, if you, if you talk about those sorts of things, there's green ones, red ones, black ones, cardinals, all sorts of things. If they're in the water and sticking up like that, they denote hazards and where the shipping lane is. Oi there, Sharper Book. Shepherd Book from Houston, Texas. Well, howdy, partner. Is that a good question? Do we have any other shipmates from viewing from outside the UK? Perhaps you are in Europe or even in the USA. Let us know in the chat where you're from. We are, of course, predominantly based here in the port of Southampton in the UK. In the sunny south coast, no less. Southern Cat VTS, that's all copy, thank you. So currently we have had... Red Osprey, well. Red Osprey VTS, all received, thank you. We've had Sky Princess depart first... No, hang on, sorry. Embassy Virtuosa departed a bit late. Sky Princess a bit late, later than that. Ventura even later. Iona due to depart at six, so she might be the only one on time. Boy there, shipmate Heather Hersel from Australia. Fantastic, Australian. Shipmate Scat Pack Bob is from Cleveland, Ohio. Shipmate Kirsty Britcliffe says, We're on Iona at the moment. We'll be flying a flag towards the back. Hubby's just fetched bubbles for sail away. Oh, it sounds like a good man there, shipmate. Got you. VTS will supply. Will supply, VTS. Yeah, just heading back to the ocean dock to get the 250. Will supply, VTS. That's all copy, thank you. You got your thank husband. You, sir. 
Got your husband fetching buzzles. bubbles. That's absolutely perfect. Well, we'll keep a lookout for that. Uh, this is the Sky Princess just turning around cow shot with the New Frontier, the bunkering vessel, just following it closely. Uh, shipmate... I don't know what your name is, shipmate. That doesn't appear to have a name. But yes, Jenny Blue, away from Town Keeper Heights. Nameless shipmate is from Oklahoma City. Jenny Blue, VTS, that's all copy, thank you. Uh, shipmate Robin. VTS, Sea Green, closing down a march, thank you. Good evening. Sea Green, VTS, that's all copy, thank you. Uh, good evening to you. Uh, we'll speak to you tomorrow, no doubt. Shipmate. <coughs> Shipmate Robin Heiss is from Phoenix, Arizona. Been there a few times. Oh, we seem to end up in Flagstaff. Yeah, this day is 44. Take the slow run up for a little ball. Thank you. Shipmate uh, Norma Hackey. Mackey, sorry. Uh, said you used to live in Tucson as well. Shipmate Techmate says beautiful sight. I'm not quite sure which one you're referring to, but yeah, thank you, thank you. Shipmate Kirsty Brickcliffe says we're on deck 18. Oh, let me have a look. Deck 18, you're towards the stern. Oh, I shall just uh, have a, I should just change to cruise cam. As we can see, Aventura there in the distance. She's departing on a seven night Spain, France, Portuguese cruise via Vigo, Lisbon, Porto, Cherbourg. With the sporting icons, Sue Barker, Matt Dawson, and Phil Tufnell. Could have done with some of Phil Tufnell's expertise this morning when we were out on Bramble Bank for the cricket match. I'm not sure he could have uh, done much with those challenging conditions. Yes, New Frontier 1, hook out to the leap. New Frontier 1, VTS, that's all. Copy, Barbara, thank you. The uh, Waverley is just underway now from Yarmouth, Anchorage. Uh, she's in rebound and bound for Portsmouth at this time. Thank you. There is Ventura. That lovely sunny conditions today. I think it's turned out rather well. We've had some awful sailaways during uh, the summer, haven't we? During August. In fact, I haven't bothered doing a few of them. Absolutely foul conditions. Rainy, drizzly, misty, poor visibility. And uh, that's Guy Princess in the distance on the other side of Cowshot Spit. Get uh, three cruise ships in one here. We've got the very tippity tip of the bow of Iona with the ship's bell. I don't know if you can see that just in the corner there. Pino Ventura in the middle of the shot and Sky Princess on the other side of Cowshot Spit. It's pretty neat. Lining up kitchen cam to try and get something similar. Oop, come on. There we go. Essex Star VTS. Right, so this is going to be the triple challenge. So we have Ventura on the right. Embassy Essex Victoria. Star VTS, sir. Uh, yeah, affirmative. You're clear to proceed. Give me a call back once you're all brought up and secure. Over. Embassy Virtuos in the distance. And Sky Princess Brian Cashel Spit. Oh, look at this. Get three ships in one. Oh, yes. This is quite a challenge, but I think we're going to do it. But they're all converging. Red Falcon VTS, that's all copy. Thank you. Sky Princess just approaching the Bourne Gap outward bound clear channel. She's followed by the New Frontier 1 just approaching the reach outward bound to the west. And the Ventura is at Lanes Lake outward bound. It's like some sort of cruise ship traffic jam, isn't it? Look at that. Three cruise ships in one shot, shipmates. Sky Princess can be hidden behind 
MSC. No, hang on. Uh, which way is it? There. Getting confused. Uh, MSC virtual is it hidden behind Sky Princess? There we go. I think I might get. Uh, we might get another three again if I zoom out a bit. We might get Sky Princess on the left, Venture in the middle, and then no, no, Virtuosa. Oh, too confusing. <laughs> too confusing, shipmates. There we go. They're from a different different way this time. Two going left, one going right. I think you you know what I'm saying, don't you? I don't think I need to explain to you. I could also manage something similar on a cruise cam at the moment. Go for four on cruise cam. Let's, let's see that. Should we, can we do four on cruise cam? Is that possible? I'm trying to see. I've got one going that way, one going this way. No, uh, I think we're going to get three on cruise cam as well. Shame, isn't it? So on cruise cam, we've got the Iona there, Ventura on the left going down south of the water, and the MSC Virtuous in the distance. Well, at least we got uh, three in one shot. It's been a while since we've had that sort of ship traffic. Tomorrow we've got five cruise ships, so I would say there's a good chance we might see that again. Maybe we get four in one shot. That'd be the goal. I own her next to depart at six o'clock. She's radioed in and said all is good. I think we have a shipmate on the stern somewhere of Iona. Some flag. Something. See anything? Shipmate Ellie Burleys. She was quite like that shot. Thank you, shipmates. Shipmate Rob, but Roger Linnell. Eight weeks today on my second cruise on Iona. Excellent shipmate. And shipmate Norm Mackey says, very happy to see that on the first day of viewing. Yes, it's, we often get one or two cruise ships. Well, I say one or two. We often get two cruise ships on the bits, but that was quite impressive to get all three crossing like that. There's the red jet speeding past. We see it from this angle as well. There's the terminals, the refinery there. And I think that's Alley Cat of Cows coming up. Oh no, it's yeah, no, it's Sunt Cat. And we get two cruise ships in the same shot here. I don't know if we can see that on Netley Cam. I might get the other cruise ship. Mm. We've got MSC Virtuosa New Frontier, the bunkering vessel for Iona, Solent Cat, and Ventura. Fantastic. Right, I was mentioning next, uh, I think someone asked a question, but I'll tell you anyway. I was mentioning tomorrow, so tomorrow we have five departures here in the port of Southampton. We have the, uh, which order is going to be? We have the Aurora departing at 4.30. Disney Dream at 5.00. Anthem of the Seas at 5, Norwegian Dawn at 5, and then Arvia at 6. It's going to be pretty busy. I will probably, let's see, uh, which one's going first? It is Aurora going at 6.30 from, oh sorry, 4.30 from 106. 
I should be on screen about five. Uh, I'll, I'm out about tomorrow afternoon, but I will be back in time for five o'clock. Might be a little bit close, but I will try and best to get back in time. And I reckon we'll probably have non-stop ship action until about 6.30 when Arvia will be on her way out and then I shall probably be exhausted and need a nap. Shipmate Matt Hughes, there's over 9,000 people on three ships setting off to enjoy the summer holidays. Yeah, so you, uh, you, you make a good point there, shipmate. BPS, I think total it's going to be way more than... BTS and BTS, that's all copied and cleared to proceed, thank you. With the four ships, it's pro probably about 16,000 people. Uh, MSC Virtuos is 5,000 capacity. My own is... 5,000 capacity, uh, the other two are about 3,000, so uh, you're going to be talking 15,000 people. Also, yesterday, probably close to sort of 15,000 people, and tomorrow, probably close to 20,000 people. So that's that's almost 50,000 people departing the port of Southampton over the course of the weekend. No wonder there was traffic jams. Plus, it's back to school, probably people going to Ikea, all the students arriving in town. You can never tell when the students come back. They all go to Ikea. Shipmate. Oh, hoi there, Aaron de Wadash. Many thanks for subscribing, shipmate. Are you uh, a resident of Walsash by any chance? With a name like that? You know, pleasure to have you on board. Many thanks for subscribing. I saw someone, Shepard uh, Book, says in... In everyone's opinion, how many people is too many people on a cruise ship? That's a good question. I, I travelled on Iona, which is one of the bigger ones. I think there was 6,000 people Return on board. VTS, that's all copied, sir. Thank you. 6,000 odd people on board. And I'd have to say the ship felt very quiet. Everywhere you went, there was plenty of space. You never really saw that many people. You know, admittedly, the restaurants at 7 o'clock were quite busy. But the restaurants at 7 o'clock. There was plenty of places to go. Different place, Different things to see. Lots of space. The biggest queue I saw was for coffee on the first morning at Costa Coffee then by the second or third day people realized there were coffee shops all over this all over the ship and there was not so much for queue there anymore so and the bigger bigger the ship you get more bars more restaurants more other things more things to do not as intimate uh, you may not make make as many friends perhaps but uh, yeah And shipmate Matt Hughes says pretty much the same thing. Last summer he was on I.O. No, roughly 4,000 people. Never struggled to eat, drink or enjoy the amenities. Yeah, I quite agree. I mean, obviously it is a little bit busy around peak times at 7 o'clock at a restaurant. And I would say that we did struggle to book up the speciality restaurants, mainly because I completely ignored the advice of Paul from Love Cruises, who said book them up in advance, and I just, I just didn't. So... <laughs> Paul from Love Cruise, he's our channel sponsor. I think he's going to be with us tomorrow. He said he was busy yesterday, but he'll be busy, busy with us tomorrow. So if you do have some cruise questions, specialises in cruises from the Port of Southampton, I think he'll also give you a special price if you come click on the link from Love Cruises in the description. It'll point you in the right direction. <laughs> With their shipmate Craig Jones, may thanks for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Shipmate Sylvia Heem says she likes Ventura, did the Caribbean on her twice. Shipmate Electric Gamer, one of our excellent channel members. He's always got lots of useful information. 
Oh, yes, he. Uh, well, I was just about to say, but he even says it, uh, he worked MSC Virtuosa today. 5,400 guests. Very busy indeed. So there you go. Uh, he he often comes back with some lovely little tidbits. He, off, he works down the port. Very useful shipmate indeed. He's a member of the channel, so he has access to the Discord server. He's always good for finding little stories and things. So if you become a member of the channel, that's one of the benefits you get is the Discord server. Allows us members of the channel to exchange pictures. You get early access to videos. Have a chat about things. Complain about things. <laughs> I know how everyone likes to complain. It is a lovely sunny day in the Port of Southampton. The wind has died down a bit. Yes, it has. It's, uh, it's getting warmer. 21.1 now. Absolutely brilliant. Sky Princess now over at Cows. Look at that chap there. Oh, whizzing around on his jet ski. He's going to go and try and jump the wick. You can see how much faster the ships travel past Cows than they do down Southampton Water. It's probably touching in that sort of 16 knots, I would think. Uh, yes, in fact. No, let's cut a quick look. 16 knots exactly. So there she gets down there, just passing cows. You do get a good view of them in cows, the ships. They do pass quite close, but as you can see, they do pass with quite some speed. Shipmate Mark Teal says, On Iron last week, full but never felt crowded. Lots of different places to eat and sit and drink. There you go, see shipmate. I think. I don't know what the proportion ratio is of people per square foot, but I'd imagine as the ships get bigger, they actually probably almost have more space than the smaller ships because, you know, the engine room doesn't need to be that much bigger and there's just a lot more cabins. People move around at different times of day. There's restaurants everywhere, little bars everywhere, lots of bars. It's 18 bars on there. In fact, I, I, I am halfway from making a video on that so little film of the bars of owner. A six-star VTS. Uh, shipmate, the pack Andrew. Hey, six star VTS, that's all copied, thank you. Is asking if anyone's been on Sky Princess, what's it like? And it's Sky Princess here, just passing cows. Yeah, shipmate Tina Stockman says, uh, thinks the captain's right that people say that you don't, you don't sell on the large cruise ships because they think it'd be too busy. But they're so big you don't notice people. I tell you what I did notice. I'm just thinking now. Another place where I noticed all the people was in the theatre to watch some of the performances. The theatre was massive and packed. There wasn't an empty seat. But that's not a bad thing because it was actually quite enjoyable. You, I mean, you're completely watching and engrossed in the show that you're that's being put on. You don't really know what's going on. You know, just enjoying that. And then you suddenly think to yourself, gosh, I'm at sea on a cruise ship not in the west end of london so i i enjoyed having a large crowd there it felt it felt very good oh there's shipmate phil harrison says a great coverage well done captain many thanks shipmate oh, looks like we've got another opportunity for two cruise ships on one here as you can see the Sky Princess just gone past cows now. She'll be on the screen at the same time as Ventura. Shipmate Paul Adams says my neighbours are on Sky Princess. Sky Princess. Off on a decent cruise as well. 14 nights to the Mediterranean. A Mediterranean adventure, no less. Via Cadiz, Barcelona, Marseille, Verona, Cavici, Jacaro, and Gibraltar. I've mispronounced at least a couple of those. Next due to depart is T and O I owner. Due to depart at six o'clock. As far as I know, that's well. Hang on, sorry, I moved the camera away. Uh, as far as I know, that's still due to go ahead. She read it in to say. That's what she was doing. Uh, there was a barge being moved away by Y. No, not one of the Ys. By Will Supply. Will Supply 
Yeah, there's still there, still moving barges. We're not sure what barges were there. Maybe barges for the litter, the rubbish. They often collect the rubbish from the ships by barge. So it could be that. And obviously they can't move until the barge is gone. But we'll supply a store there. So but there's still plenty of time. We've only got 10 minutes for part shy. Yeah, VTS will supply. We'll supply. We'll supply VTS. Yeah, away from the Iona now with the we'll carry uh, 250 heading back to the Empress. We'll supply VTS, that's all copy, thank you. Thank you, sir. There we go. I was talking about we'll supply. It's just radioed in. And there we go. There is uh, Sky Princess and then Ventura. Both in the same shot. Visibility, pretty good. What is the visibility currently? 37 nautical miles. We have a Scottish flag on one of the balconies of Sky Princess, of, of Iona. But nobody in the balcony. I'd imagine perhaps they've headed down to the buffet. Shipmate Martin Evans says we're on Iona two weeks. Oh, we got off Iona two weeks ago. Only saw half of us, so we're going back on next year. Yeah, I can imagine that, shipmate. There is a lot of ship to see, a lot to do. And I did make a mistake, like I say, of not booking the speciality restaurants. So I've got those to look forward to next time. Shipmate Thomas Cosgriff says, what type of VHF are you using to listen to the port channel? I have a... Um, a digital radio so it's a computerized radio plugs into a PC that's picking up the oh, cork that speed up there oh that's a little swift one isn't it yeah so it's a, it's a digitized packet radio receiver not a handset in the conventional shape or form it's just a little dongle plugs into a PC connects an aerial to it BTS Iona good evening I own our VTS, good evening. Well, we're port slide 2, 46, we're getting things ready. Class is 8, decimal 6, 9, and we're bound for Stavanger. I own our VTS, that's all copy, thank you. Um, we've just got the Sergeant Cat in, we're bound at this time. She's at uh, Northwest Net 8 in for Town Key. That's all copy, thank you. So the Iona is getting ready. VTS, Ventura, Ventura VTS, that's all received. Thank you, UKD Bluefin. Uh, should be north of the ride. Oh, we'll just hold station until you're clear the precautionary area. Ventura VTS and apologies for the traffic. The Waverley is approaching uh, East Leap. She's uh, bound for Portsmouth this afternoon. Oh, we might well get to see Waverley on Cow's Cam. Well, I think I can see some waving going on. Let's have a look. Waverley VTS, that's all copied, sir. Thank you. Be aware the Ventura just passed the hook outward bound to the east. She is clear channel over. There we go. Somebody's waving. Are we talking to Brian? Brian's saying, you're on the screen, Waverley Louis. VTS, uh, that's all copied. Uh, staying outside the precautionary area until she's clear. Many thanks. Looks like she's shouting back to the cabin. We're on TV. Get out of here. <laughs> Stop napping. Get out of here and wave. Oh, unless, it, of course, it was the shipmate with the husband with the bubbles. Then fair enough. Oh, he's got to bring his cap on. Very sensible. Look at that. Man's in the sun, puts his hat straight on. Good efforts, shipmate. Good efforts. <laughs> oh, he's had enough of that. He's going back in now. <laughs> oh, very good. 
no strange county flags today. I thought there was a couple of extra flags on Iona, but they turn out to be towels. Towels. Right, any more waving? Any more flags? Iona due away very shortly. I'll go down and have a look at the lines in a second. We'll keep an eye on those. Red funnels going around cow shot with Ventura heading down that way. From the other side, depending which way you look at it. Have a quick look. Back in the chats. Shipmate Julie Stringer's off on Iona next week. And so is shipmate Craig Jones. Ah, oh, shipmate Tina Stockman, we're talking about the theatre being really busy. Yes, it was good. I'll send some, someone's asking about the, the radio. I'll see if I can find the. Uh, see if I can find a, a link for it. No. VTS for Eagle, uh, roll up here for cash, please. Red Eagle, VTS, that's all copied and cleared to proceed to the well supplies at Dockhead. She's back round for the Empress with the 250 barge. Uh, Solon Cathy's just at Western Shelf, inward bound for Town Key. Copy, thank you. Just distracted and trying to find uh, this USB radio that I've been using. Mm. Just can't seem to find it. Never mind. Let's have a look. Let's carry on going down Iona, see what's going on. Ventura turning round cow shot. And four minutes to six. I think we should probably be seeing some activity from Iona. I believe we've got a party, a large party on the stern waving. She's pulled out, we'll be able to see them. I'm just going to check on the lines. So it's a good opportunity. Uh -huh. We have some activity down here. BTS, Southern Cat, Hive Line into Town Key. Southern Cat, BTS, all received, thank you. Thank you. BTS, Roger, 7 to Town Key. Roger, 7 BTS, all received, sir, thank you. Um, got the uh, Southern Cat uh, dockhead in for Town Key. Uh, the Ventura just on the Cowshot turn, uh, outward bound. Having a look, there we go. The couple of shipmates down there, that's a good sign. Someone with a white hat, I think they're officer class. Uh, Richard, CCTS, all the same. Thank you, ma'am. Um, got the Waverley approaching the Gurnard boy coming south, uh, heading towards. Um, at Portsmouth, the Ventura, uh, Cowshot Live Float Outward Bound, Clear Channel. We should see Waverley on Cow's Cam for about 10 minutes or so. She's a paddle steamer She's in the area for a little while. MC Virtuoso, VTS, all received, sir, thank you. Um, got a Bretang there and looks like uh, just done the 10 miles now from the east, the city of Chichester and the Molina on the way in. Over. There you go, and that's one of those barges that will supply is moving from Iona. Do 
Shipmate Kirsty Backcliff says sorry, back deck 18. Uh, oh, yeah, she's back on the back deck 18. I'll have a quick look at you there. I, I will probably go up later if you're. Let's have a look, see if we can find you. 18 is quite a long way at the top. I think that's the sky bar. Probably around here somewhere. Yeah, probably up there somewhere, but I'm not sure. Plenty of people sunbathing out there today. That blue from Richard, see you again, sir. I think I've discovered where she might be lurking. That's the Ventura heads off. There we go. Got to say Union Jack, Union flag action. Hope she's well doused with some sunscreen there because I think it looks pretty sunny today. And that wind will be making it feel cool. Before you know it, you'll be burnt. Not that I'm speaking from experience or anything. Looks like they're looking down at their devices. It will take a little while before... There we go, see, they've clocked it now. Yeah, there's a bit of a delay, somewhere between 15, 20, 15 to 30 seconds. Pepper tang with you. <laughs> Excellent. So we've had a Union flag today, a... Uh, whatever flag do we have? We had a Scottish flag and a Southern Ships Ahoy Shipmates flag, which I thought was marvellous. Don't let go of the flag, shipmate. City of Chichester, uh, good evening. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Plenty of pleasure craft out there. The city of Chichester VTS, that's all received, thank you. Um, we do have the MSC Virtuosa approaching St Helens outward bound, north and east of the tower. Everyone's out on deck, I think, enjoying the good weather. Get a bit of fresh air before they head to the buffet. It is now two minutes past, so I'm going to zoom down to the front of the ship and see what those lines are doing. Did you ask Red Falcon? Okay. Uh, Red Falcon, we just all received, sir. Thank you. Um, got the uh, Iona um, going to stations on uh, 46 bus. Up, thank you. Yep, it looks to me like those lines are coming in, doesn't it? There's definitely one hanging around there. Shipmates to be busy operating the winches inside. The linemen on the dock side will release the release the lines and then they'll winch them in inside the ship. I think they would say, yes, shipmate, uh, was it Kirsty, Kirsty Brickcliffe? I think that's what the one mentioned. Yeah, Kirsty Brickcliffe. Yeah, that's us, Captain. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, he saw you there. Very good. Thank you for giving me some directions and pointers on that one. Shipmate Pack Andrews says, anyone well, done a bridge tour? I wanted to do a bridge tour when I was on Iona, but due to COVID restrictions, apparently, they're not doing them anymore. 
Oh, we got someone else waving now. It's a canny place to go because I often zoom into the lines here. So, yeah, they're on the phone saying, Wow, I'm in the lovely Southport Port Southampton. You should be here as well. Not in the middle of the country. Julie Stringer says, how far can you go before you have to put your plane in airplane mode? Oh, uh, yeah, good question, that ship, mate. Um, I don't think you need to put it in airplane mode. Well, anyway, uh, quite some quite some distance. I think if you don't sign up to the service, then you don't, it doesn't, you don't have to worry about it. But it's not very far. You don't have to be that far off coast for it not to work very well. I managed to get some signal around Brighton when we were probably about... 20 miles offshore well something like that but yeah you it's uh you don't go that far north sea you'll have nothing BTS, the owner, this is, uh, breaking away now from 46. there we go and iona is on the move look all those lines coming in and there she goes iona bts all received sir thank you didn't hear any hall action i'll turn the volume up she looks the iona is typically very quiet mm, sounds like someone's playing some music near the camera There we go, Iona now departing for a seven-night Norwegian fjord cruise via Stavanger, Olden, Halisett, Granger and Hawksund. I'm not hearing any horns, I'm just hearing youths playing their mobile phones very loudly. Or their beatboxes or ghetto blasters, whatever they call them these days. evening it is for a departure weather forecast for the next four or five days is fantastic don't forget tomorrow shipmates we have five departures from the port of southampton we have norwegian dawn anthem of the seas avia aurora and disney dream current weather forecast let me check the weather forecast uh, weather forecast for tomorrow oh they should make electric gamers donated two pounds many thanks should make current forecast tomorrow is low wind so i reckon we should get a good opportunity at hearing disney dreams horns because she'll be very near the camera on the uh, 38th berth waverly is now on cow's cam Yeah, she makes electric gamers, says the sailaway party. Sounds fun on Iona, absolutely. There is Waverly. Oh, we've just missed her. Oh, that was the paddle steamer that's in the air at the moment. She's bouncing around between various ports, taking passengers. Oh. Sightseeing rides around the Solent. There we go. <laughs> Briefly, a bit of Iona. Oh, it's quite a dramatic sky now, isn't it? It's a bit dark in the distance. We've still got plenty of light. Hi, Princess VTS, that's all received, sir. Thank you. Um, nothing to meet up for you. You've got the two coming in from the east, the city of Chester and the Molina. City just down for 351, and the Molina will probably go across to uh, um, the now Bankridge stretch. Uh, one of our shipmates of the channels just said that he's actually working on Disney Dream tomorrow. Molina, Salando VTS, sir. Good evening. Hopefully, he'll, maybe he'll give us some inside information. And Melina, you're heading for 351 as well. That's all understood. Thank you, sir. Traffic wise, you have the MSC Virtuosa, uh, Nabby Spoy, outward bound, north and east of the Nab Tower. The uh, Sky Princess at the fort, outward bound, west of the tower, sir.
yeah it's funny it's quite sunny so if we look south it's quite cloudy but then it was very foggy this morning when i was out on the boat going to the cricket match but if we look to the north i only there just watching right i see the tide is out but yes it's very sunny that way well it's going to lead to a very a lovely sail away party isn't it perfect conditions to do part the wonderful port of Southampton Iona now reversing quite well I'm going to turn off itching cam because I haven't heard anything from Iona she says she's very quiet really one of the quietest horns in port she's not as horny as the rest of the ships that's for sure Yes, that's all received. Thank you, sir. I've um, got the Iona now backing out of uh, the Ocean Dock outward bound. Shipmate, yes, thank you. Shipmate uh, Breeze1470 asks, where's Iona sailing to? She's sailing to the Severn Knight Norwegian Fjord cruise via Stavanger, Alden, Heiset, Grenja and Hogsland. Beyond that myself, that's not bad at all. Although when I went... Oh, my word, that was rather fast. When I went, the it was... Uh, uh, what was the I think the temperature was like two or three degrees centigrade, and the wind chill made it minus seven, so it was a little unpleasant, but it certainly made sitting in the hot tub nice. Oh, that is a dark cloud, isn't it? Very, very imposing there. Um, I'm trying to think what's uh, what's coming up. So, Bramble Bank was this morning, that was the cricket match. Uh, I've got that video uploaded. It will go live later. And next weekend is... Oh, yes. Next weekend is the start of the Round the World Yacht Race. I should be live streaming that from Ocean Village. There's 14 yachts taking place. There we go. There's our shipmates um, with a Union flag. Very good. We can see you there, shipmates. That's next weekend, and then after the weekend after that, it'll be the boat show. And we've got a fairly packed September. Don't seem to have time to stop during September. It's one of the busiest months. I think August is pretty busy as well. Iona, Aston, turn 12. Yep, Aston, the Iona. Thanks, Gary, there. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. It's OK for me to stick over to the red, so I'm going to go down to the container port. Yeah, whatever you want to do. Obviously, we'll be backing over to the Reds, but yep, you see what we're doing, and you carry on. Full copy, thank you. So that was one of the... I can show you. No that was one of the tugs. There we go. Yes, 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 Ocean Sing. Eston. Ocean Sing, we just even again, Matt. He's going to sneak by up this way. Andy. Yeah, we're just starting to come away from Shamrock Key. We have seven crew, three passengers, PEC 112, draft 1 1.8, bound for the tanky. Ocean oh, Seamute, yes, I get that's all received, thank you. Um, the Iona, she's um, just backing out of the ocean dock, got a swing, and um, proceed out. Yeah, that's all copied, thanks very much. Yeah, that's really some dark clouds looming, isn't there? VTS, the Solent Cat, this is just departing Town Key, outward bound for Cows. Uh, Solent Cat, VTS, that's all received, thank you. As I say, the Iona backing out of the ocean dock, uh, outward, got a swing and proceed out. Uh, you've got the uh, Eston just getting an cross to the uh, uh, Gimp there, heading up towards the container terminal. And then it's local ferry traffic. That's all received, sir, thank you. There we go, there's the Sullent Cat. And there is the Spitzer Eston, just nipping past the stern of Iona. PCS Widget 6 approaching North West Natalie, and permission to continue with the caution for the Iona. Can I have a dock at Tiger HP? There's Ventura on Cow's Camp. Uh, 6 ETS, uh, yes please ma'am, and you've got Solon Cat just leaving Town Key as well there. And Dock Head at the moment, I have 1.53. 1 1.53, I'll probably thank you. Yeah, Ventura heading off. 
on a seven night Spanish French Portuguese cruise via Vigo, Lisbon, Porto, Schaubourg with sporting icons Subarka, Matt Dawson, and Phil Tufnell. Could have done with Phil Tufnell's help this morning. Still have our shipmate uh, Kirsty waving the Union flag vigorously on the top of Iona. Not seen any other flags, we just had a Scottish sorter earlier, and that was it. Uh, disappointing really isn't it i thought there would have been a few more flags plenty of shipmates out on their balcony now i think they're enjoying this wonderful weather for this departure they august was a miserable month terrible weather there's ventura Haven't had any numbers for Iona yet either. Let's see if there's any more waivers. No. Uh, quite a contrast there isn't there between the hull of Iona in the bright sunshine of this lovely warm evening here in early September in the port of Southampton and the dark clouds when we proceeded down Southampton water this morning at 5 30 to get to Bramble Bank for six for the crickets it was quite misty and foggy Yes, uh, that's all received, sir. Thank you. No, just those two, sir. And they're both treading on 351. BGS Jenny Blue, swaying from Hyde to Tampke. Jenny Blue, BGS, thank you, sir. And uh, I'm sure you can see the Iona just backing out of uh, the ocean dock. They've got a swing and proceed out. Yes, see you there. Thanks very much. Yeah, it's very striking, isn't it? Very high contrast vision we have before us. Mm -hmm. We see something on Netley. Yeah. Oh, there's uh, Ventura just past Cow's Cam, heading off on her sp Sports orientated superstar tour. I thought there were flags along there, but I think there's just people hanging their towels out. Plenty of people up on deck. I think it's ideal weather for that. Enjoy your departure cocktail. Dash of solid sun. I was just reading the chats, people talking about, uh, I, yes, she's at North Sea. She'll be at North Sea all day tomorrow, then in port on Monday. So you get a day on the sea. And that's if you want to book up any of the experiences, you need to do that as soon as you get on. If you want to book up yourself up a spa treatment or one of the uh, signature restaurants, you best to do that as soon as possible. Don't uh, follow my advice and ignore all those things. Because you'll, you'll end up unlucky. I see someone ask Breeze 1470 ask how long it's like to arrive in fjords. There we go, Monday morning shipmates. J 
Judy, Judy Stringer says, how many passengers are on Iona? No, we don't know that. I'm afraid I haven't heard the numbers yet. I would imagine somewhere in the region of five and a half thousand. That seems to be typical, but I don't know it as yet. We haven't heard. Ahoy there, shipmate. Sue Allsop has become a member. Many thanks, shipmate. Many thanks for your support of the channel. If you become a member, you have access to the VTS radio all the time, the Discord server. You'll get early access to films as well. And maybe some unpublished uh, content as well. Excuse me, I just uh, had some sneezing to do. So Iona reversing. I, what did I just show you where she's reversing to? If I put the map up, you'll see what I'm saying. So Iona is reversing out of the ocean terminal versus... Versus rounded here, spins around and then heads on out. Tomorrow we have five cruise ships departing. If you subscribe to the channel, which is free to do, and click on that notification bell every time we go live, you'll be notified. We'll be going live tomorrow, I think about five o'clock. First ship departs at 4.30. Uh, so I reckon it'll probably be about a lot. Um, Five o'clock by the time we see uh, a ship on screen. I don't know which ship it is. Which ship is it? We're going to see. I think it's Aurora. Yes, it is Aurora. So tomorrow we'll have Aurora on the screen. Ahoy there, Barton Theatre Company. Many thanks, shipmates. Many thanks for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Uh, Aurora, we'll have Aurora at, uh, on screen about five. VTS Ocean Scene, Itch and Bridge for Tonkey. I should see me, Tessa. Hey, Rob, all received. Thank you. Uh, the Iona just swinging off the ocean dock outward. Copy, thank you. Where's it gone? Ocean scene. We'll probably see ocean scene on itching cam shortly. Let's have a look, shall we? Ocean scene yet. So, like I said, yes, uh, tomorrow we have the uh, five ships departing, starting with Aurora, be on screen about five. Disney Dream will then depart at five as well. Microphone's working really well. I think we'll probably hear all of the tunes. The wind's in the right direction. Well, should be good. We also have Queen Mary too. Oh, there, shipmate Mark Corker. Many thanks for subscribing. Welcome aboard, shipmate. Oh, sorry, Queen Mary two departing at five, uh, and then uh, Anthem of the Seas departing at five, and then Aurora at six. So it's gonna be a busy old day tomorrow. Busy, busy, busy. like Iona's almost completed her turn starting starting to point in the right direction hoi there shipmate Rebecca Parr many thanks shipmate Rebecca says thanks for all the effort this is great oh well glad you like it shipmate I appreciate your contributions let's go 
Uh, for necessary tests, obviously, so thank you. Um, the city of Chichester and the Molina both dredging on 351 south east of the tower, sir, and then no further traffic. Just see the Solent Cat there, just passing Dockhead. I will be going that way very shortly. Why will leave ETS out to receive? Thank you. Speak to you in a bit. So she's almost completed that swing. So next weekend we will have I'll be live streaming from Ocean Village for the Round the World Yacht Race that starts on Sunday. That'll be at eleven o'clock live stream for that one. Hoping to get. Uh, he said he'll come along. Matt, the Commodore from Netley Cliff Sailing Club, said he'll come along. He knows more about sailing boats than I do. Oh, hey there, shipmate David. Good ship, I think it says. I can't quite see. It's, uh, let, me, let me change camera. Yes, David, good ship. Oh, hey there, shipmate. Welcome aboard. Many thanks for subscribing. All right. Mm. Oh, there's shipmate Perm Curler. Welcome aboard. Just going behind the grain silos there. What a glorious day. What a glorious day. Uh, VTS, Red Falcon, good afternoon. Approaching the hive line. Information to carry on at speed. <laughs> Uh, Red Falcon VTS out with caution, got the ocean scene Western Jetty there outwards uh, for Town Key. And the uh, Iona has completed her swing now, also outward bound there. Thank you, sir. Yep, I have both of them visual. Oh, hey there, shipmate Mark Teal. May thanks for your donation. Much appreciated. I did see shipmate Matt Hughes says, have you set up all the cameras on the stream or are they accessible to the public all times? They are accessible at all times, shipmates. If you search the... Solent Ships YouTube channel, you will find Netley Cam, Itchin Cam, Cows Cam, and Cruise Cam. There's also a camera in the Isles of Scilly, but it's gone wonky at the moment. Hopefully that will return soon. And I am working on some new camera sites and locations as well. In fact, if you have a property somewhere that overlooks a stretch of water, then I'd be most appreciative of me letting, letting me put a camera up for the channel. Could be good for your business. Lots of visitors. Here's Iona just passing the dock head. Lovely. Oh, there's shipmate Robert Goodridge. Many thanks for your kind donation, shipmate. Shipmate Robert Goodridge says, great viewing, and thank you. Oh, and ahoy there, shipmate Jeffrey Harding. Many thanks for your donation as well. Shipmate Pack Andrew asks, have we had numbers yet? No, we haven't had numbers. Uh, I think it might happen soon. They tend to often give numbers once they're passing the Western Shore. Uh, Red Osprey VTS, obviously, sir. Thank you. The UKD Blue from Cowstrap Live float back in for an SO dredge. Uh, the Iona um, approaching Dockhead now, outward bound. Well, oh, Shipmate Matt Hughes, does he do you say you've got something over the River Mersey in the north, but not in the south? Well, that'll be fine. Or the River D. Yeah, if you've got a good you view. Come to you once, Andrew, yes, sir. Good evening again, sir. If you've got a good view, I might be interested. Like I say, we've got one in the Isles of Scilly. Oh, it's gone off. Though. A new Frontier one, we just, yep, that's a good position if you're happy there, sir. Give me a call again once you're all brought up and secure at anchor, please. Yes, the Eagle hook out. I'm ready, Eagle hook out, sir, thank you. Oh, 
boy there, Sandra Steedman. Welcome aboard, shipmates. Have a look on the stern. The stern is busy. Look at that. People in the infinity pools soaking up the sun, enjoying the weather and the wonderful sights of the Port of Southampton. People have asked before if the water sloshes over. Yeah, please me, Jess. Go ahead, sir. And it does indeed slosh over, but as you can see, there's like a secondary fence which then catches catches the water and stops it going into your cabin. Uh, yeah, that's correct, sir. Yeah, the uh, Tibul, she's due away from 2-3 uh, to 1900. Plenty of activity on the stern there. I think that's where I'd be in the sky bar on the stern. Rum based cocktail, enjoying the view. Yep, that's all received, no problem, sir. Thank you. P and O Iona. Named after a competition, actually. The general public was asked for a name, and they came up with a. Oh, I thought it was rather good names, named after a Scottish island. They didn't call her Boaty McBoatface. I suspect that was also in there somewhere. And there is the. Uh, the highest in there hangs up. Jenny Blue. That's Ocean Scene. Ocean Scene is one of the party boats. She's off out to Town Key to pick up some guests. BTS, Jenny Blue, Town Key to Hyde. Uh, Jenny Blue, BTS, thank you. I've um, got the uh, Ocean Scene just rounding Dockhead in for Town Key. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on it. Thank you. And smooth sailing to all of you on Iona for your seven night cruise to the fields. So we've also got the red jet coming in. It's quite busy today in the port of Southampton. We've got lots of cruise ships, five cruise ships tomorrow. <coughs> Recommend you subscribe, just like shipmate Gavin Bailey's, who's just subscribed. Welcome aboard, shipmate. And when I go live, you'll be notified. Some great views out there today, some very strong sun and some dark looking clouds. Shipmate Matt Hughes says, our only rules for jet skis enjoying the wake. Uh, as long as they're in the open area and there's no speed limit, then basically no. I mean if you if you if you behave too recklessly you can be charged with a reckless control of a vessel. Uh, but no, just jumping over the wake is perfectly allowable. Oh, there, shipmate Sarah Tony, two thousand two. Many thanks for subscribing. like the tide is quite low let's check the tide oh yes tide is approaching the lowest point of the day MSC Virtuos, here we go. oh wrong camera there we go that's all received thank you and a good evening to have a safe passage see you next time Yes, yeah, certainly, yes. Good evening. Uh, you kitty Bluefin, um, just on the cow short turn there. She's coming up for a dock stretch now. And the uh, Iona, Western Shelf, outward bound. <laughs> Shipmate Ellie Murley says she's called her doorbell. Yes, Red Jess, six, departing town key and copy traffic. Peepy McPee face. Yes, all received. Thank you. And good evening to you. Good evening. Yes, Ellie Murley's doorbell, ring doorbell is called Peepy McPee face, which was funny until I had to show us some footage to the police. Did not make them change it. Owner, um, I fear outwards and uh, numbers passengers 5770 and crew 1693. Uh, 5770 and 1693, all received. So we have numbers for the Iona. Generally, she has a capacity of 5200.
and there's 5,770 on board, so that's the... Uh, I don't, I don't know. It just suggests he's very full, I guess. <laughs> yep. So five and a half, pass five and a half thousand passengers on board. That's a lot of people. But I think, as people have said, I don't think I'd worry too much about travelling on a larger cruise ship. They don't see, they don't feel as busy as you might imagine. Right, well, that's been quite a busy day. I would say it's got quite warm in my cabin here with the old PC churning out the heat. Back again tomorrow, shipmates, at approximately five o'clock for five ships departing tomorrow, including Disney Dream, and I think we'll have Paul as well from Love Cruises. He'll be joining us. So if you have any questions about cruising for the Port of Southampton or which cruise ship to pull to... Um, go on come and join us and ask away in the chat we have tomorrow we have what norwegian dawn anthem of the seas avia aurora disney dream and queen mary 2 There's definitely some channel favorites there i think disney dream and queen mary 2 tend to be the favorites of the channel anthem of the seas is pretty popular as well i mean they're all pretty popular to a certain extent but i think uh, yeah that's a good it's a good selection tomorrow How bright that sun is glaring off the water there. Yeah, if you have enjoyed these broadcasts, do think about subscribing. Uh, it's uh, broadcast tomorrow. Then next weekend, we've got uh, probably doing some more Ships TV broadcasts for the departures. And then also, the uh, it will be the Round the World Yacht Race start. We'll be covering that. And, could be, and there'll be probably a bit of boat show activity going on later the week after. So lots lots going on in the month of September. Thanks to all those who have subscribed. Thanks to all my PayPal donors, my Patreons, and members of the channel. Remember the channel, get access to the Discord server. And I shall continue to bring you some exciting content. I will carry on following Iona as she heads down south under water to the fields. And I shall endeavour to bring some more exciting content. Got quite a few films coming out. In fact, I've got one about Bramble Bank, which I shall just show that to the members of the channel for the moment. So with that, shipmates, I'm, I will keep going uh, but i will just sign off for the moment while i deal with some admin and until next time ship it. Ventura VTS had all received, so thank you. Um, just got the um, city of Tisita and the Molina. We'll be dredging on uh, NAB 351 there. And no other further traffic, inward bound. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir.
Uh, Tim Bulvey, yes, that's all received, sir. Thank you. Um, just local fruit traffic at the moment for you. And the UKD bluefin at the hook, she's coming up for a, um, a dock stretch uh, just to see where whereabouts you are, where, where she's going to dredge. That's all received, no problem, sir. Clear to proceed. And VTS, UKD Bluefin, uh, hello, good evening, sir. So Bluefin, VTS, evening again. Yeah, evening, sir, that's just at the hook boy, looking at the timings, and obviously that's uh, the container vessel's ready to rock and roll. I would like to dredge uh, just the vicinity of northwest Netley, uh, and then I'll turn and come straight back out. Uh, northwest Netley, that's all received, no problem, sir. VTS, VTS, JNEW, JNEW. JNEW, VTS, good evening. VTS, JNEW, all completed on with Tonya, just disconnecting. I'd like to slip and proceed back to 23 berth for the night. PEC 1191, 7 on board, draft 4.6. JNEW, VTS, that's all received, no problem, sir, thank you. Yes, Jenny, many thanks. And uh, next movement, once we're all fast, is Aurora tomorrow morning. Oh, Jenny W, that's all understood, sir. Thank you. Uh, Melina VTS, thank you, sir.
And ahoy there, shipmate Michael Upton. Many thanks for your kind donation, shipmate. Much appreciated. Yeah, Solent Cat, hook out. Uh, Solent Cat, retest, all received, thank you. Yes, that's all understood. Thank you, sir. Uh, Wait for the VTS, so good evening again. Riviera VTS, uh, my apologies there, and good evening to you again, Jerry.
Oh, hoi there, shipmate. Chris Shipping, many thanks for your kind donation to the channel. Very good of you. Says he's been... Uh, Riviera, VTS, that's all understood. Thank you. And uh, I've got no uh, further inbound traffic for you. Got the Ventura St. Helens there, outward bound west of the tower. Says he'll be in Town Quay tomorrow. We'll be watching all those cruise ships. Got five cruise ships in the port tomorrow departing, so maybe he's coming down to watch those. And then he'll be over to the Mayflower Park for a tasty 99 with strawberry sauce from Mr. Whippy. That'll be from Scooby. Uh, New Frontier 1, sir, under VTS. That's all received, sir. Thank you. Maintaining good listening, Watson Channel 12 and 09. And we will update you with your pilot boarding time in the morning, I believe. Uh, 6 30, 0630 for your pilot. The uh, ice cream van in Mayflower Park is called Scoobies. Interesting chap. He enjoys selling ice cream to people. It also is hot chocolates and coffees in the winter when it's cold. Yeah, to all the VTS ads, all received, no problem, sir. Thank you. UKD Bluefin coming up Southampton Water. You can see it from that angle as well. The tide is out, red funnel in the background. Right, so I think that's uh, that really is it. I'll, I'll probably uh, I should turn off shortly. But uh, many thanks, shipmates, and until next time.